Hi guys! Today we are going to be doing a little DIY type of video, which it's been so long since I did one of these, so I am really excited. So I have some pieces that, ooh, that we are going to DIY. So the first is this bright t-shirt, which has some ink stains on it right here, and I washed this shirt and they don't come off, but I don't want to throw away the shirt. So we're going to do something about this. And then I have this um, necklace, which is from one of my wish hauls, and it is a little bit too tight, just a little bit too tight. So I have some um, jewelry rings and some jewelry pliers, and we're gonna be making this just a little bit bigger. And then I have a pair of jeans that we're going to be making into shorts. Oh, I also forgot I have a pair of tweezers. I have a pair of tweezers as well, and we're going to be making these jeans into shorts. I also have some fabric scissors. So the shorts are my favorite type of je uh, jean. This is the Jegging Jane Mid-Rise Denim from Cubis. They're just really big on me. They've stretched a lot and you can see that especially right here in the butt area. Like these like little stretchy kind of things right here. But they're just not great anymore. So I can't wear these as jeans, it just doesn't look good. So I bought a new pair of blue jeans that you can see in my Black Friday haul if you haven't seen that already. Uh, so I'm gonna be trying to make these into shorts and hopefully that will make them better. So I think we're gonna start with the shorts. So we got these jeans and first off, I'm just gonna fold them. So we're just gonna start by cutting off the leg and then we're just gonna see what length it is. So I'm just going to cut straight like this. And this is probably way longer than I want them to be. So you can already see that these are way longer than I want them to be. I probably want them to end up somewhere like here. I think I want to just try them on and see how loose they are. And then we're going to go back to cutting them a little bit more. So this is the length and it's pretty much right to my knees. So you can see here that they are pretty wide. There is a lot of extra fabric all the way up. So I want to cut them to like here. So I'm just going to take the fabric pen and mark. I think I want them. I'm going to cut them right here first. And then we're just going to see what that is like. Okay, so we have the little mark right here and I'm going to cut them like this. Because my the butt is right here and I don't want this to be too short in the back, I think. So I'm just gonna try my best to lay this out evenly, but seeing how stretched these are, it's not really easy. So here they are. So I'm going to try them on again and then we're going to see what we're going to do from there. I like the length right here. Um, it's too long in the front. And then it's a little bit long in the back, but I don't want to cut it too shorter because my butt ends right here. So there's just like a little bit of fabric covering my butt. But the front has to be shorter for sure. So definitely like I'm going to cut up maybe like this much off in the front. And then after that, I think we're ready to start distressing. And that's also one of the reasons why I want to keep some extra length. Because distressing is going to make it appear a little bit shorter because the fabric is going to be gone. So this is the part that I want to cut off. So I'm not quite sure what the best way to do that is without taking off too much of what is in the back. Because I can see here, this is the length that I like. So I'm just going to try to cut it like... So this is the inside and this is the outside, right? So I'm just gonna make a little cut. And then I'm cutting this down into the outer seam. So 
So these are the two pieces that we cut off and they look pretty similar. So that's always a good start. So I'm just gonna try this on again and then we're gonna see if I want to make some more cuts. If I want to cut off a little bit around the bottom and the back or if I want to make this seam. I do probably want to make this seam a little shorter actually. So I'm just gonna cut this like this. The edges are not really clean, but that's the good part about this dressing, right? So I'm gonna try these on again. This is a little bit too uneven, so I'm gonna cut this in a little bit more right here. And then I will cut the bottom, like the back, a little bit shorter, just like a centimeter or maybe two, because it's a little bit too long. So we're going to uh, cut that off and then we are going to start this dressing. So this is the back of the jean and I'm gonna cut it like this. So that's going to make the inseam a little bit shorter and it's going to make the back a little bit shorter. I'm just gonna leave this for now because I wanna see on the inside of the pants how this is going to look when I cut it off. So I'm just gonna do the same to the other side. I'm gonna make this one a little bit smaller. And then the same here. Okay, I think that's what we're going with. And then I'm gonna do the tweezers and we're gonna start pulling out threads. So I'm just gonna find something to watch because this is going to take a while. But what you do is basically just pull on all of the threads around the edge so that it gets a little bit frayed. And then it will get more frayed as well as you are washing it. So this is basically what we're going to do around the entire hem of the shorts. Okay, I finished. That took me like 40 minutes. So now they have some distressing and then I added this little um, detail right here and then I have a detail here, which is like the other way. I think maybe I want this to go higher up, but I'm going to try these on now and then we're gonna see what they actually look like. So here they are. I really like this detail. The one on the side right here, you really can't tell that much because it is so dark. Um, but I do think I want to add more of these details. So I'm going to add that and then I'm going to call it done with this. I think it's definitely really nice and the fraying makes it a little bit um, loose, which is really comfy. So. I'll definitely be using this for sure, so I'm going to add a little bit more of these white uh, areas which basically what you do is you cut like this and down here and then you pull out all of the blue threads and then just the white ones will remain and then for the small one like here, you do the opposite so you cut it right here and then up here and then you pull out all of the white threads so the blue ones will remain so it's been another like hour and I got some food in May so I did a little bit more distressing, so I made another white one here on the side and then I also did one on the back here. So there's a lot of fuss left in this. Um, and then I left a few pieces of blue in the middle here just to keep it a little bit together. Um, and then if that starts to annoy me, I can just take that out as well. So 
apart from that, I didn't do anything else to the back. I just did that one. And then maybe at some point I'll add a little bit to the other one just so it's not as uneven. So I am going to put it back on so you can see what it looks like. And then we're going to do the necklace first and then we'll do the other t-shirt after because the necklace takes like literally two seconds to do. All right, here it is. So we have this little white pieces right here. I just think they give it a little bit of shape, which is nice. And then in the back, we have this distressing on the pocket as well as this little blue distressing right here. Um, yeah, I actually really like how this turned out and it's actually better than I thought it would be. I've tried doing things like this before, but it never really turned out great. But this short, I actually think it turned out really, really well. So I'm very happy with it. And then I'm just going to add to the necklace. So this necklace, it fits me like just, but not great. So as it is now, it has a longer chain, but it's not centered. So what I'm going to do instead of adding to the chain, I'm going to add to this link right here on the other side of the hook. So I'm going to take my jewelry pliers, which I put behind here. And then for my little, um, what are these called? Circles or hooks? I'm going to use the ones that are the second biggest, the middle size and the silver. I think I'm going to start by adding three and then we're just going to see how that ends up. I'm just gonna open up the biggest and then I'm going to put another of these on and then I'm going to close it all together after because they um, are slightly open just so that they're easier to put in place but obviously I do, do need to close them all together. I used to make chain mail before which is why I have these like pliers and stuff and uh, that was actually really fun so if you want like a fancy little hobby that's definitely something to recommend actually. Okay, so I put two on here. I'm gonna put a third and then I'm going to connect the chain to the new ones. Because I still want this to be kind of a choker, but I don't want it to be um, the way it is now. So I'm gonna open up the big um, hoop. Again, and then I'm going to take off the lock and close that up. And then I'm going to open the last one of the ones that I just put on. And then put the lock back onto that one. So it's now three little chains longer. And then I'm just gonna put it on and see if I like it. And if I do, then I'm gonna leave it. If not, I'm going to add more. I think this is good actually. I'm gonna leave it like this and then I will, we will go down to the t-shirt. So I was thinking what I wanted to do to the t-shirt and I think I just want to uh, put some um, jean on there actually, like a jean heart. I'm going to use a piece from the jean that I just cut off and then I'm going to align it like this. I'm gonna flip it inside out. And then I'm gonna draw half a heart onto it and then I'm going to cut that out and we're gonna put that on the t-shirt. And then take me in. And then it's going to be, have to be placed a little bit further down. So this is the middle. I'm just gonna mark that as well. Cause there's a little bit of a crease going. So the middle is right here. And then I'm just gonna place it. I kind of want it to be a little bit further up. So I think that's good. And then I'm going to sew a stitch around, but I want to put a little bit of glue before so that it doesn't um, move. So I'm just gonna lift up one side and you really don't need a lot of glue. So I'm just gonna put a little bit and um, down and then. 
And then I'm gonna do a black stitch around the heart. I have no idea how much yarn I'm gonna use, so I'm just gonna add too much. And uh, this is just a plain, like, black cotton yarn. And I'm gonna start um, from the bottom, of course. And then I'm going to try to get all of the stitching and it's approximately the same width away from the edge. I'm just gonna finish this up and then I will be back. So I finished sewing up the heart and I ended up adding this black border around as well. Just I thought it gives it a little bit more of a clean look. And then I did add some more glue some places underneath here right in the edge. So I'm sure that it'll sit like this. So um, this is the, uh, the finished t-shirt and then I just fastened it in the back and cut the thread off. I did have more than enough thread because I still had quite a lot left after sewing all that. So it's just sewn on like this in the back. So yeah, uh, I think I want to try it all on at the same time so you can see what it looks like. So here are the finished clothing. So we have this um, jean shorts, which is now high-waisted jean shorts. And um, it's a really nice length for me. I think it's not too short on the inside. And uh, I really like this um, um, fraying, or what I should call it, but here and right here on the back pocket. And I also actually like this more than I thought I would. Now that I'm just wearing one of these like sports bra things, I think it's going to look better if I had a regular bra on. Um, if it doesn't, I think that's probably because this should have been a little bit further down. But apart from that, I actually think the t-shirt is wearable now, not like it was with the huge stain on it. So this is what I uh, managed to make and it took a good while because this distressing detail takes forever. But it's worth it. I had a pair of jeans that I couldn't use and now I have a pair of shorts that I can use. So those were all the things that I made, including this little bracelet that I, it's not a bracelet, including this little necklace that I just made a little bit longer. And doing things like this is actually really easy if you just take the time to do it. And if you ruin it, you're probably gonna throw it away anyway. So it's not like it's a big deal. And uh, I have new things that I can actually wear now. So, for me, oh. For me, this was actually quite a big success. I've been thinking for the heart, maybe I should have made like a crisscross pattern around the edge instead, but it's too late for that now. So I do hope you enjoyed the video and remember to give it a big like if you liked it. Leave any comments down below, subscribe if you haven't done so already. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Patreon at Black. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.